Hey, what's up everyone? It's a beautiful fall day here in Minnesota. I wasn't even planning on fishing today. I was gonna try to get some stuff done around home, but I kept looking out the window and it just looked way too nice out. So I figured I'd grab my rods, hop in the truck and head out here to the river. I left the kayak back at home this time. It's late September, it should be prime time for some bridge fishing. So that's what we're gonna do today. There's two or three different bridges I'm gonna stop and try. And here we are at the first one. Let's go see if we can hook into some smallmouth. All right, I've got a Bitsy Bug jig tied on my spinning rod. We'll try that first. See if we can catch anything on the jig. I'll start right over here in this corner. Just drop it down there. See if anybody's home. kind of weird I didn't find anything over on that side. I fished it for about 20 minutes and I didn't even get a bite. Now that does kind of concern me. I've been seeing a lot of people parked here shore fishing. I drive by this bridge usually at least a couple times a week and even though smallmouth are protected on this river not everybody abides by the rules. Now there are a couple other things it could be. We've had a lot of rain lately, so it is moving quite a bit faster than it usually does this time of year. It's also been warmer than average the last couple of weeks, so the water temperature hasn't quite cooled off to that point where they like to cling to the concrete yet. There's one right there though, tucked up underneath that grass. Huh, maybe they're just hanging out over here on this side of the bridge. Oh, this is a good one. Come here, you. Wow. That's a beauty of a smallmouth right there. Sounds well, good to see there's at least one hanging out over here. He was tucked right up underneath the grass over there. Nice. There's one. There was one stuck to the concrete. Oh, it's not even a bass. He was a pike. And he just took my jig. Uh, darn it. These pikes sure are good at thinning out the tackle box. Well, I think that's a sign that we should call it quits at this bridge and head over to the next one. I'll see you guys there. All right, I made it here to bridge number two. We've got a little bit better water clarity here, so I figured I'd swap out that Bitsy Bug jig for a Bass Assassin Elite Shiner. I've got that on a 316 ounce Kitech jig. Oh, I see one swimming right there. There's usually a whole bunch of them swimming around this bridge, but they're pretty smart and with the clear water you can usually catch one out of the group and then the rest of them kind of wise up to what's going on. So if I can get one to bite here, I'll be pretty happy.
There's one. Oh, he feels like a good one too. Oh yeah. Nice. Wow, look at that one. That is the beauty of a smallmouth right there. Like I said, a lot of times I can only catch one off this bridge and then the rest of them wise up. So when I catch one, I hope it's one like this. Wow, that is a nice smallmouth. I didn't see a bunch of his buddies chase him up though, so that might be a good thing for us. We'll keep throwing that elite shiner for a little bit here and see if we can catch another one. Well, I've given it about 15 minutes since I caught that fish and I haven't had any more action. Oh. Got something chasing bait around over here though. There we go. Oh, sometimes you just gotta be observant and look for that opportunity. Just about to call it quits at this bridge. <laughs> I saw him chasing bait around along that culvert wall there. Threw my little bass assassin minnow over there and he wasn't about to say no to that. Nice little guy on that bass assassin elite shiner. Nice. Well, I do think I'm gonna call it quits at this bridge though. There's one more a little bit farther upstream on this Sam River. We are starting to run out of daylight, but I think we got time to head over there and give it a try. Now bridge number three is out of the range of smallmouth, but I have found some big largemouth there in the past. Ah, we made it. Spot number three. Looks like the sun is uh, maybe setting right about now. I'm gonna go straight to my secret weapon here at this spot. Since we have limited time, I'm gonna throw that Spro BBZ one rat at him. Let's see if we can find any big large mouth hanging around these culverts. There we go. Oh yeah. That was pretty cool. Alright, come on over here. I don't want to 
like getting tangled up in there. Oh, I just barely got him hooked too. Open up. <laughs> nice. Look at that, nice large mouth on the Spro Rat. I saw him come up and grab something right next to this little patch of grass here. Threw my mouse over there and yeah, he thought that thing looked like dinner. Sweet. That's awesome. Well, at least one fish at every bridge. Let's see if we can get any more here. Wow, there is like no water flow at all coming out of that far culvert over there. Oh, that looked like a pike. Not quite sure though, so I'm going to throw that rat back over there. a giant. Holy. Oh, you stay on. All right, you come on over here. Wow. Look at this large mouth. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that large mouth. Jeez, that is a beast. I think it's got to be a good four and a half. Came up and hammered that rat. Wow. He was sitting right along those cattails over there. Jeez, that is an absolute monster of a large mouth. Well, I think it's time for me to call it quits for the night. What an awesome evening it's been out here on the river though. These bridges have been pretty good to me tonight. All three of them we stopped at. I mean, we didn't catch numbers of fish, but it was at least one real nice bass at each one of them. So I couldn't be happier. I'm definitely glad I came out here today. And I'm glad you guys came along with me. I'll see you next time.